This short video will introduce you to the many sources of Axiom information. There are two groups of information, external and internal. The first group, the external information, is available without running Axiom. The second group, the internal information, is available from a running Axiom. The AxiomDeveloper.org website contains information about the latest release of Axiom. Axiom is released every two months and the website is updated with each release. The Axiom homepage has links to all of the other pages. The most likely reason to visit the website is to download binary versions of the code, found under the download link. The documentation link provides access to the various Axiom literate volumes. Additional videos will be available at the website. Axiom binaries are built at every release for a variety of systems. This page also has instructions for downloading source code. There are notes for some systems that might require special handling if you build Axiom from source. All of the Axiom source code is being assembled into book form. This style of maintaining source code is called literate programming. The goal is to combine the readability of a textbook with the maintainability of well-documented source code. The code in these books is the actual source code used to build Axiom. A comprehensive source of information is the Axiom textbook by Jenks and Suter. The textbook is available from Amazon.com. The textbook is also available for free on the Axiom website as a link from the home page. The Jenks textbook covers many of the common areas of Axiom's user level abilities. For serious users of Axiom, this book is essential. The book is built from source and is included in every binary download. A tutorial for Axiom by Daily is available on Amazon.com. The tutorial is also available for free on the Axiom website as a link on the home page. The Daily tutorial covers many of the first time uses of Axiom. This tutorial is useful for classroom material. The book is built from source and is included in every binary download. Axiom source code is available from a variety of websites. Axiom is maintained under Git, CVS, SVN, and Arch software repositories located on Axiom Developer, GitHub, SourceForge, and Savannah. Axiom source code is also available in GSIP tarball format on the Axiom website at axiom-developer.org. Axiom Golden source code is maintained on github.com. It is possible to clone the GitHub Axiom repository. This will give you a complete local copy of the sources. Axiom source code is available on sourceforge.net under sourceforge.net slash projects slash Axiom. There are two Axiom repositories on SourceForge. The CVS repository contains the golden sources from the latest release. The SVN repository contains the silver sources, which is the ongoing development branch. Unless you are doing development, you should not use the SVN version. If you are doing development, the master version of the development sources is at axiomdeveloper.org as a Git repository. Axiom golden sources are available from Savannah under the savannah.nongnu.org slash projects slash axiom. The Savannah site is a CVS repository which contains the golden sources. These sources are updated with every release. All activity on the Axiom project is reflected on the axiom-developer at nongnu.org mailing list. All bugs, comments, and questions should be posted to this list. All patches and announcements go to this list. The axiom-developer mailing list is available online at lists.gnu.org on the Savannah website. The entire archive of the Axiom project mail is available online. There are also internal information sources available only when running Axiom. Work is in progress to significantly enhance these sources to make the system easier to use. HyperDoc is the classic Axiom browser. By default, HyperDoc starts when Axiom starts. HyperDoc contains hundreds of pages of documentation, some of which are dynamically generated. HyperDoc integrates the command line functions for basic commands like integration, showing what you need to type. HyperDoc integrates the graphics subsystem, showing you how to create graphics. The HyperDoc browser was written years before any internet browser existed. While it has held up well and serves its information purposes, it needs to be updated. Axiom Firefox is a rewrite of HyperDoc to use the Firefox browser as a standard help mechanism. This front end is being built, but there are newly written pages that are not in HyperDoc. Since this is standard browser code, the user can add additional web pages with little effort, possibly to customize the system for classroom use. Axiom Firefox is the future direction of the HyperDoc help system. 
There are many pieces of information available from the Axiom command line. Axiom system commands all start with a close paren symbol to distinguish the command from any other user input. The paren help command gives access to help pages for particular domains. These static help pages give many examples of how to use Axiom for specific tasks. Typing just paren help at the Axiom command line will give further information. The paren display command will give you detailed information of what arguments are needed for a given function. These argument lists are called mode maps. Here we ask what concat operations are available. Axiom functions are heavily overloaded. For instance, there are many concat operations in Axiom, all having the same name but taking different arguments. Axiom not only shows you the argument lists, it also gives examples of code you can write to use a particular version of the function. Axiom arranges operations by domains. A domain is something like integers, or complex numbers, or expressions. When using a domain, it is sometimes necessary to ask what operations it supports. The paren show command will show you all of the operations that can be performed on elements of this domain. It also shows what file contains the source code, as well as other useful information, such as the abbreviation of the domain. Axiom is free and open source software and includes all of the source code for the algebra. This source code is gradually being collected into books that are available on the axiom-developer.org website under the documentation link. The algebra sources are included in the source distribution and are available in literate form in the binary distribution. The Axiom algebra sources contain exact information about how an operation is implemented. You can write your own algebra or modify the existing algebra, compile it, and use it in your own local copy of the system. Axiom users can put a sequence of statements into text files called input files. Input files can be read into a running Axiom session. This allows users to develop algebra examples, possibly for classroom use. Axiom comes with hundreds of input files in literate format. These provide test cases for Axiom, but they are also useful as documentation. Axiom has the long-term goal of producing fully literate, readable, and useful documentation of the entire system. See the other videos available on the axiom-developer.org website for more information.